Hi, this is my mom's 1996 Toyota RAV4. Um, I just got done replacing the front rotors and pads and I'm going to be doing the rear brake shoes now. I've never done brake shoes before, never done drum brakes. I watched a, a couple videos on it, so I'm thinking I'll be uh, okay to go, hopefully. Uh, a lot more springs with the, with the drum brakes, but I think I have what I need to get it done. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jack the vehicle, take the uh, rear wheels off, and uh, take a look. All right, I have the uh, vehicle jacked up. Um, drum is off. Um, like I said, there, there's a lot more moving parts to a drum brake, as you can tell. One of the things I saw recommended was you uh, take a picture of the uh, assembly before you take it apart, so you make sure everything gets back where it came from, and also um, it's a good idea to just do one side at a time, because if you screw it up, you can always hop over to the other side and see how it's supposed to be. So. That's my plan of action. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to proceed with caution. There's lots of little uh, springs and some clips and some special nuts that have to come off uh, that all hold that shoe in place. They do. These do look somewhat thin. They don't look terrible. I could probably get away with not, not doing them, but I bought the stuff to do it, so um, I might as well do it. And uh, let's, uh, I'll check back with you once I've uh, made some progress. Well, the shoes are off. Um, you can see the assembly kind of hanging there. It's kind of still together. Um, this C clip here is going to be a problem. I need to uh, see if I can get that off. That's the only thing that's holding it on at this point. Okay, um, everything's off besides that bracket there that it's attached to the uh, parking brake. Um, when I took the old parts off, I laid the shoes in the same orientation the new shoes as the old shoes were. Um, I'm definitely going to be relying on using the other side as a visual to connect all this stuff together because this is really it's a lot of parts. Um, this little thing here I thought it was a seat like a, um, a snap ring but it really isn't. You can just uh, snap that over this this uh, little rivet here and then when you put it back or you, you bend it to get it off and then to put the new one on you just slide it on and, and squeeze it so that wasn't quite so bad. So uh, I got some work ahead of me here, uh, be some trial and error for sure.